Oh god, here we go. Do, 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 do. Did you see the new band list? Did you see the cleats were looking good? Stop, I'm being serious. I have no clue what to play. <laughs> Did you think that I do? No one knows what to play, dude. This list is absolutely insane. I mean, we even have to ritual to three for crying out loud. Well, you get all these cool premonitions from dad and everything, and all I get from them is... You know, all the money and women I could ever want. But what do you do with that? Do you maybe, I don't know, want to switch places? I don't know. Do you want to tell me what deck to play? All right, so I said it in my reaction to the Bane List video, and I will say it again, guys. This Bane List is the most crazy, insane, just, it's, it's the most out-of-the-box Bane List I think that I have ever seen in the entirety of the time that I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And even though it's pretty obvious as to why Konami unbanned Monster Reborn, I actually missed that in the live reaction. I actually completely forgot about it in the live reaction, why that is. But um, even though that they did that, I have to applaud Konami, guys. The list is probably the most... It's probably the most well thought out list there's been, there has been. I mean, they even really paid attention right down to level eater and everything, guys. They they outright banned level eater. They banned Gofu. They hit Grinder Golem. I mean, and they they hit Grinder Golem even after Konami themselves kind of praised Grinder Golem. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was actually in a Cap G video. That's how I saw it. Even with all of that being considered, guys, they seriously made a really good list. I mean, if you don't think that this list is really that good, or if you're just trolling because Stratos didn't get on band okay I get it like, but, I mean I get the trolling and I get you know the criticism maybe not everything that you wanted to get hit got hit but you have to admit guys this list was a genuine effort it really was and as a result of this genuine effort from Konami to slow down Yu-Gi-Oh I think that the game is going to get slower I truly do and there are several reasons why which is so refreshing guys we have been calling for this for so long and um, we, we were really expecting it with the um, introduction of Link Monsters and Link Summon Seriously, all of our initial thoughts, including my own, was that the game was immediately going to get slower when Link's came out, but as the months, you know, creeping up towards Link format kept, you know, getting closer and closer and closer, as, you know, as time kept rolling by, we could see that the game was going to get a lot faster, and we figured out that, you know, tokens could be used for Link summoning, etc, etc, you know, and uh, Link's kind of made the game faster in their own way because, you know, you could spam Link monsters and stuff. I'm not going to get into that um, in this video, though, guys, and I could talk at great length about, you know, Link monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh! Theory and, you know, just all kinds of stuff, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to fast forward until now and just pretend that the, the last X amount of months just haven't even happened. I'm going to fast forward to today and this ban list because that is exactly what we need to be focusing on is this new ban list and rebuilding and trying to discover what is going to be meta, what is going to be tier one and everything after this list. So let's get started with that discussion. And that discussion is going to begin with what I was talking about in previous videos about there possibly being some sort of two deck format rising after Extreme Force being um, Spirals and, um, you know, Pendulum Magicians and with like Trick Stars or some other deck being like that third deck, you know, kind of wedged in there. And I was talking about Trick Stars, you know, being wedged in there as like this, you know, third best deck up there, you know, basically playing second fiddle to Magicians and Spirals. But with this new list, I am not sure that that's going to happen. Trick Stars may very well be our best deck, but that remains to be seen. They still do have the reincarnation and drill combo and etc. And they still do, you know, they still are essentially a better chain burn deck I mean they're more consistent than chain burn let's put it that way they're just uh, they're just an annoying deck I wish that that deck would die but is the deck the most powerful does it have a super high ceiling that not really is the deck super unbeatable no, it's not. And I actually really want to focus more on Spirals and Magicians um, when it comes to this part of the conversation here, because Spirals didn't really get hit that bad at all. They got Resort to 1, and all that really does is hurt their combos. Like, they still are a very solid deck. Spirals are still looking to be probably the best deck, guys. I'm going to be completely honest here. They're probably still going to be the best deck, but once again, this all remains to be seen. But one of the big points I'm going to make here is not to count out Pendulums, okay? And um, I'm going to talk about Pendulum Magicians first, okay? With Pendulum Magicians, even though Joker got banned and they had a, you know, double iris hit and stuff like that, um, the deck still has a very high ceiling. It's still very, very consistent. Matter of fact, Ryan, who I was talking about the other day, um, you know, who is, you know, who helps Davinator on his channel, that Ryan Arentheon or whatever his name is, he actually sent me a screen shot of what he was able to come up with even after the band list and the, the deck still builds really great boards and I've seen you know I'm kind of you know kind of uh, peeked into you know YGO Pro rooms and watched people you know playing magicians stuff the, the deck's still really really solid and um, I wouldn't count out just other pendulum decks in general guys I mean Metal Foes guys Metal Foes still have a lot of potential I mean Rescue Rabbit is at three we have we have no idea
idea um you know what is going to shape up after this ban list guys i mean everything could everything i'm saying right now about spirals being the best deck or you know trick stars being the best deck i mean like i said a second ago it remains to be seen what is actually going to happen everything that i might be saying right now could be completely wrong and everything could be turned upside down with this list i mean completely i'm being completely honest and the reason why i think that is because i seriously think that a lot of really powerful rogue decks could rise up and be very very good now i'm going to start this off with brilliant fusion guys um i did a video a little while back okay talking about uh, i was really worried about brilliant fusion i really thought at that point of time i'm not going to really talk about that video but at that point in time I, when i made that video i genuinely thought that brilliant fusion was in danger of getting banned and i seriously feel that way now even though brilliant fusion is what me and sam call high risk high reward it still is just so powerful it gives you two normal summons it gives you a body on the board in the form of Seraphonite. Brilliant Fusion is just a fantastic card and I think that it is in danger especially because Brilliant ABC is a really good deck and they have Destrudo and ABC Buster Dragon is that his name whatever its name is it's still a very very powerful boss monster it is very very good and so um, I really feel like Brilliant Fusion and, and, and not just with ABCs guys I play Brilliant Fusion in my Herald deck and Heralds you've seen the boards that I've been able to make with Heralds and you've seen some of my replays that I've been able to pull off with Heralds and it's nuts and the deck just got even better with Prep of Rights back and that deck plays Brilliant Fusion like oh my gosh like I'm telling you guys I've been playing in hands with with my herald deck Whew, you're in for a treat next week it is it is insane it might be it might it, the the ceiling for the deck is probably the highest ceiling in new gear right now I, i'm not even kidding and that is my point guys if i'm able to do like for these kind of crazy things with herald i mean imagine what other people are going to be able to do with zombies or like i was just saying abcs we have no idea and that's going to kind of lead me to the next uh, topic here which is traps are really good again i think i think hand traps with this new list i think hand traps kind of have been, have been brought down a peg because the game i think just uh, you know taking this list at face value i feel like the game is going to get slower i mean for christ's sakes we have three torrential tributes right now that is just nuts guys three torrential tributes which means you can dark hole on your opponent's turn if that's not disruptive and if that doesn't slow down the game I don't know what will. That is just that is just insane, guys. And so where I'm going with this is that decks like stall decks, like the new counter fairy deck, that is a prime example, guys. And they got solemn judgment back. Woo! Gosh, the counter fairy deck, guys, might be like might be your number one rogue deck right now. I'm not sure. Like once again, we will have to see what will come out of this. You know what? You know what kind of metagame will develop after this list. But I really feel like it's going to be a, a number one contender. I think it's going to be up there, guys. And that's just one. You know, these are just examples of rogue decks that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Um, another really good example of a deck that could be very, very good is um is evil swarms i mean think about evil swarms uh, with with three torrential tribute i was just talking about torrential tribute for example right um evil swarms um you know have infestation of uh, infestation infection which protects their monsters from spells and traps so you know infestation plus torrential tribute is a classic combo in Yu-Gi-Oh, and they're going to be able to do that again they're going to be able to make an ophion or their new link monster and they're going to be able to torrential on your turn and they're not going to be able to lose that monster because of infestation like i think I think, guys, I, I feel like, I feel like Evil Swarms, I feel like a lot of rogue decks, I truly feel like every rogue deck has a huge chance right now, especially piloted by a really good player. So basically, from my point of view anyways, I feel like with this new list, Konami kind of hit a giant reset button for the most part, because we have a lot of, a lot of things that are up in the air right now as far as what decks are going to be the best. I mean, Spiral is still, you know, a really good front runner. Uh, Pendulum Magicians, you know, Pendulums in general, you know, get a good, good uh, potential front runner. Trickstar is a very good front runner, um, you know, etc., etc. But um, you, you can see how there's a lot up in the air right now because there is no telling what people are going to come up with and take the tournaments and stuff and what will win those regionals and you know it, it will shape you know the future of what people are going to be playing in other regionals you know or other YCS's other events we have to see what is going to happen guys it is a very very exciting time in Yu-Gi-Oh um it's it's really interesting it's like since this reset button this this uh you know metaphorical reset button has been hit it's you know everyone's scrambling trying to you know figure out you know people you people you know spiral players for example or you know like touching up spirals and everything Everyone's gonna be trying to add Monster Reborn in their decks right now. I mean, you kind of have to play Monster Reborn because that's back and stuff. So um, I really feel like this format is it reminds me a lot. I mean, just right now, it reminds me a lot of 
of the end of hat format where you know or just in hat format where uh, where uh, gear gears were good hat was good um cyber dragons were technically viable uh, viable i mean there's there was just a lot of different decks around that time i mean art i mean just artifacts that, you know playing artifacts and stuff uh, there's a lot of decks that were available around that time that formed this kind of hodgepodge format even though um and, and all those decks were viable even though a hat was kind of well defined as the best deck every other deck was very very viable and i feel like that's kind of what's going to happen now i feel like um something like spiral or, or let's just say spiral i think let's just say um spiral rises to be the best deck and starts you know topping tournament stuff i still feel like every other deck is going to be like right up there with it as far as like being almost as good in other words guys i feel like there's going to be one defined best deck for sure but everything else is going to be so close to it that anything will be playable. Everything will be playable. At least at this point in time right now at the beginning of the format. The format looks good. The list looks good. All you have to do is build your deck and practice and you can play any deck that you want right now. And you can do well. In my belief, this is the format where you can play anything and everything. Does that answer your question? Dude, that was just a cop out. Oh, come on. This list was nuts. You can predict anything right now. Oh, and if you guys want 10% off of any mat from metamats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus, and you will get 10% off of any mat. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>